guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you had a beautiful day. So grab your tree, grab your drink, grab your tea, do whatever you need to do to get comfortable because Tasha's going to spill the tea. Straight, no chaser, no sugarcoating bullshit. It is what it is, guys. So let's get tapping in. Cheers, guys. Mm. Remember to use your discernment when watching my readings. I could be saying he, it could be a she, I could be saying they, it could be you. So use your discernment and place yourself where you belong in the readings, okay? So spirit guides, ancestors, oracles of the highest white light. I call you in and I ask for a clear, precise, channeled message from my beautiful collective. What are we tapping into? Let's use the villain deck, okay? So... The Disney villain deck, guys. Anything other than the highest white light, I close that door now. Please and thank you. Remember, I could be saying he, it could be a she, I could be saying they, it could be you. So it's your turn to use your discernment and tap in with me, okay? So the roles can be reversed. We hold both masculine and feminine energy. So I could be saying it's a king, or, but it could be a female. Okay, you have the star, and it's in reverse, guys. So somebody can't heal something with you. Somebody's having a hard time to heal. Take it as it resonates, but there's a lack. Okay, somebody's not looking at themselves in the mirror. They can't see how beautiful they are. It's the ten of coins in reverse. So there's some kind of legacy here that is broken, or somebody feels like they can't heal a legacy with you. The empress. Knight of Cups. Somebody wants to come in towards you really fast, but they feel like they can't heal something with this Empress. I feel the Empress is you, my beautiful collective. And it's because of some kind of in and out energy, this Knight of Cups, okay? The Knight of Cups, it's like the knight in shiny armor, but it's very in and out. It's not consistent at all. And an and Empress doesn't want a knight, doesn't want inconsistency and this is why somebody feels like they can't heal with you because you're so high value two 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 on the clock it's the wheel of fortune guys somebody's karma is in their favor okay so they have good things around them they need to see that the wheel is there you can always change things so you can always get out of the night energy and evolve become something greater in order to stand next to this empress but there is no healing here because of this in and out kind of energy it's the page of wands somebody's coming in with a message a fast moving message they want to come in as this knight in shining armor towards this empress after losing some kind of wish the wish was the empress i feel like the wish was the empress and the empress has the wheel of fortune you have the wheel of fortune it's a choice guys you have options but there's a there's a, a message coming in a fast moving message about a passion drive inspiration creativity it's a new beginning guys let's see what else is going on here spirit thank you where did that card go oh snap wow it's the three of pentacles somebody definitely wants to work with you okay there might be some kind of no healing when it comes to working with something or or you chose like there was a, a wish fulfillment look a knight of coins all right somebody has been moving slow or is moving very slow towards you but this knight talk there's two knights here somebody wants to work with this empress as teamwork but they're coming in slow towards this lovers. It's a choice, guys. We have options. But there was some kind of doppelganger, third party, that was kind of in the mix. And this is what caused somebody to be very slow about this working together with this empress. This is why they're the star is in reverse. And there's no healing. Somebody wants to come and be the knight in shining armor, but it's taking a lot of time because, like I said, there was a third party blockage. Whether this is an actual a, another person here like this picture or it's like a friend a family an acquaintance a mother figure take it as it resonates <sighs> but the six of cups is there okay so somebody is definitely coming in with some kind of apology some kind of nostalgic energies towards you it's the judgment in reverse so somebody called uh, judgment on you okay and they clearly weren't getting all the information 
and they did they wrongly accused you of something and now they're having to go through some kind of karma bad karma because of the fact that they missed out an opportunity with this empress there's a brand new passionate beginning this message is going to bring in a lot of passion, a lot of energy, it's the ace of wands, so it's like that big dick energy as I say, but it doesn't have to be. It could talk about your creativity, it's being sparked and you're really going towards something with a lot of passion after being judged for something wrongly. Somebody really, you know, has a choice. The choice is in your hands. What are you going to do? Are you going to work with somebody who clearly has not seen your value and call judgment on a real empress, okay? Now somebody wants to spin the block. I'm not going to fucking lie, but it's only because of their nostalgic feelings, okay? There was a lot of blockages here. The five of wands. Somebody clearly wanted to poison you, whether this is poison your mind, poison your finances, poison, you know, the way you look, whatever this is. Somebody tried to put a lot of envy, a lot of jealousy, a lot of um sabotaging on you the five of wands is like defeat okay somebody wanted to defeat you and inevitably they are being defeated because of this missed opportunity and it was wrong to do this and what's wrong is wrong the 3d may not be able to see what is done in the dark but the 5d ancestors and sukwe dizu god creator does and they will always protect you when your heart is pure we may not see it and we may feel like why us in the moment but believe me everything works out for the best somebody is being defeated it's a narcissist king of swords in reverse and it's because they refuse to love on themselves it's the page of cups okay and it's in reverse so this narcissist continuously keeps love bombing recycling energy will not take consideration for themselves and now this empress will not work with this this person because of the judgment the wrongly accused are the um doing something that you later regret it's because of the fact that they don't love themselves fully so they're never gonna apologize they're never gonna all have ownership and this is the narcissistic abuse that people like to sit in and then look the sun it's time that god creator Ra Sungwe Dizu, you enlighten yourself about the situation now we can always forgive these people and move on love people from afar But I'm not going to lie, okay? Somebody really might have just made a wrong choice. And, you know, you might not know them. You might have just only, you know, they might have only been listening to the external world. So they didn't get the clear picture of a situation. And this is what's being enlightened. The actual truth of the situation. 757 on my clock, okay? So it's major changes and you're being protected on both sides. Light in the dark. And this is why it's being seen. Because you have reclaimed back your power. You're not codependent and you're definitely not sitting in any kind of toxic environments. You have conquered your own inner demons. And somebody clearly had you all wrong. And this is why they put this ten of swords in your back. They're feeling a lot of betrayal because they ended up betraying their fucking self by trying to betray you by not seeing the full picture. You're getting a brand new message and somebody does feel a lot of uh, a lot of kind of ways <laughs> feeling some kind of way because of the fact that they missed out on this empress and this empress knows her value knows her worth so she's not gonna take anything other than joy love perspective because of how hard it is to get out of this devil energy guys yo once you fucking make peace with your demons you don't want to fucking play with others especially an emperor in reverse now look you got the emperor and the empress this emperor called judgment on this empress not thinking logically not looking at the whole picture of a situation now this emperor could be a female this emperor could be a male this female uh, this empress could be a female or it could be a male you take it as it resonates you put yourself where you belong this is your story this is for you to help you to evolve okay because you have a knight of wands. Somebody was very in and out, very flighty, very promiscuous, very much in the knight energy. And because they're sitting in the emperor in reverse, they clearly were in competition with this empress because of this control issue. This is why they're very much in the knight and this is why this empress was like, no, you don't want a knight, you gotta grow the fuck up. And this is what's being enlightened, that somebody is just around narcissist and inevitably it looks like they too are a narcissist. 
or they are fucking narcissists. It is what it is, guys. But somebody's passionate and they're stuck. They see it in the hangman in the upright. I mean, the reverse. A 360 degree angle of a situation, but they're still very stuck. They're stuck on stupid. They're stuck on fucking this empress. And it's another night, yo. It's the Knight of Swords. Somebody wants to come in with some information. To, this this emperor wants to come in with some information to try to work with this empress. With some kind of corporation, some kind of group. Remember, it could be completely platonic. This doesn't have to be a relationship, guys. But there was some kind of broken partnership because of this judgment, because of this narcissistic behavior. Somebody's coming in with the truth because they know that somebody is healing. Somebody is a healer. Somebody needs to take some fucking rest. Okay? Or somebody had some kind of near-death experience. Somebody wants to come in with the truth because they know the Empress doesn't doesn't want anything else but the truth. And there's a lot of imbalance. Okay? So this... Emperor in reverse and this King of Swords in reverse are very, very imbalanced. It could be a male, female, take it as it resonates, switch the roles, blah, blah, blah. But somebody's the Six of Pentacles. Self-sufficient, independent, and it's bringing somebody a lot of imbalance because of the fact, look, there's nothing. Oh, wow. Okay, my card just went flying. Because of the fact something's about to blow up and you can take care of yourself in this blow up. You're going on a new journey, guys. Sungwe Dizu Source Creator is blowing everything up because you are one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. It's reciprocity, guys. You're getting reciprocity for this imbalance that somebody tried to do because they're clearly not single self-sufficient, this emperor. And they're in some kind of toxic, codependent relationship, whether this is family, friends, a crazy fucking mother, or crazy baby mama, or a new girlfriend. Who knows what the fuck this is? This is um, you know. Um, uh, what do they call it there? Like, um, a good charmer, a good looker, you know? So they do have a lot of fucking options, but it's only because they don't love themselves that they continuously keep giving these options to others. It's the five of cups. This is why somebody is very much sad and depressed and a lot of regret, a lot of dwelling on the shoulda, coulda, wouldas because of this choice that they made. It's all about choices, guys. Somebody's going on a new beginning. And somebody is that seven of wands in reverse. This emperor has no protection. Their protection was with the empress, but there was too much injustice, so the empress bumped the fuck out. That's why this emperor and these narcissistic people around them are very upset because the two of pentacles. They tried to juggle you. They tried to make sure that you got breadcrumbed. You didn't get reciprocity. They tried to show you that... Uh, make you seem like you weren't the earth angel or temperance angel when really it, it, they're very imbalanced very imbalanced look magician somebody was playing with those shadow people and now those shadow people are coming to haunt them because of the injustice guys remember as above so below so the light loves you and the dark loves you because you own both you own both you have no shame look you're the king of pentacles king of pentacles Male or female, it's irrelevant. You have discipline. You have structure. You have morals. You have integrity. You are the fucking king. Even if you're a female, you're a female king. 1331 on the clock. You're a mirror, guys. You're the Hayoki empath. So, you're going on a new beginning. And you have all the tools in the toolbox, guys. You work with the light. Somebody has been doing some shady ass shit to try to block you. And all they ended up doing was blocking themselves. And this keeps coming out. But they see things in a 360 degree angle and they're stuck. They're feeling very foolish because you were going on a new fucking path. After this injustice that happened, they do. They want to spin the block to try to work with this empress. But they can't. Only because of this choice. There was a wrong choice, guys. Instead of working together and coming to find some kind of um, collaborations, understandings, uh, cooperations, compromise... They didn't. Instead, they went to something that was easy, where they didn't have to change. Somebody who was clearly going to let them do this darker energies, and you were like, the fuck? You will. Like, no, no, not doing it. Not at all. Let's get some more messages for you guys, okay? Yeah, somebody needs to go on a diet, okay? Somebody needs to detoxify themselves. You know, somebody is so obsessed with this empress, like, somebody needs to detox, have a diet from this empress, okay? Because rebel yeah this empress is a rebel man somebody really tried to think that they can control you 
but you're a nonconformist. You're an activist. You're a revolutionary. And look, because of that, they wanted to put you in poverty. And this is why the star is in reverse because you they really thought you weren't going to heal from this situation when really you're the healer and you just decided to detoxify yourself and say peace the fuck out to these situations because you know that these people are the beggars the people you know and they don't want you to be higher than them this is why they want you to stay stuck so get the fuck out of there as fast as you can now we are sitting this is technology okay we're sitting in um, retrograde, uh, Mercury retrograde right now. So technology is like crazy. It took me like five hours last night to like download one of those readings. Like it was crazy. So somebody is really abusing technology right now, okay, is what it says. And there's some kind of ice disaster now. Right now in, in Canada, like it's like a mini ice storm in the middle of April, uh, April like um, in the beginning of April. So it's because of somebody's energy. Somebody is so powerful, but they're fucking iced out and it's showing in the energy around. So somebody needs to go on a diet and detoxify and, and be the revolutionary as well. Get out of this toxic energy. Somebody is really all about money. And once they realize that it's not about money, but the real spiritual wealth, they're going to be able to get the fuck out of any situation, especially if people trying to keep them in poverty because it's a mindset. Money is energy. You are energy. Vibrate at a certain frequency and you will be able to attract. Somebody's really fucking with technology, okay? That's clarification. They might be trying to spy on you or something because you got the power. You got the truth. I'm telling you, as above, so below, the light loves you and the dark loves you because you hold that power of truth, that sort of truth. And you are speaking up that people want to keep you in poverty because they're in poverty and on demon time. They're codependent. They're toxic. They're binded to some kind of energy. And that's fine. You just have to see that it's because of the darker energies, the dark magic that they were using. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> The shadow people, it's coming back and you have the power and somebody really tried to abuse their power with you or with a situation, alternative sexuality. Somebody has been probably doing some sex magic with this doppelganger kind of energy, okay, to try to block you, but you have the wheel of fortune. They probably try to siphon your energy, but energy never lies and you can't copy energy. So copy me now, bitch, kind of energy, right? Look religious devotion at the end of the day it's not about religion it's about devoting yourself to a higher purpose and the higher good of all okay somebody might be a mystic a mystic so you can heal people with your word where the hell did that card go oh wow okay guys i don't know where that card went There it is. Okay. It's a blank slate. So somebody's trying to hide it, trying to hide the fact that your devotion to source, to self, to the children, to the youth, to life, to other people is giving you a blank canvas. They want you to hide that. They don't want you to know that you're getting a blank canvas, that you're, you know, you cleared all the karma out and now somebody wants to come towards you. But first, they have to destruct, they have to dismantle, and they have to blow up whatever the fuck is not real in their life. Somebody is being a fool. Somebody is a saboteur, okay? And look. Ritual living, okay? Somebody, and then it says industry. So somebody needs to blow something up when it comes to this industry or somebody tried to really blow up your industry. The fact that you are a merchant, uh, you know, um, they, they really try to block your blessings, whatever finances, opportunities, whatever this is, they try to sabotage it because they didn't want you to see this blank canvas that you have a lot of opportunities in front of you. They really wanted you to, you know, stay in in a in a position 
of continuously doing the same thing over and over and over but not getting anywhere continuously working super hard but not getting something torture this somebody really tried to torture you the fact that you couldn't get up the fact that you you know they were using technology to probably spy on you or whatever this is but you disrupted it dismantled it and that's the fall of civilization, guys. It's really time to speak up, speak loud, speak proud, because a lot of people are trying to keep people oppressed. It's time to worship nature. I don't make it up, guys. Time to worship nature, okay? It's time to really see how beautiful life is. Life is both light and dark. We just have to be honest with ourselves, with the people around us, even if it's the ugly truth. That's the thing, guys. People want the truth except for when it's the truth about them. It's like, fuck off. Ridiculous. People need to grow the fuck up. Look, military. You have a military mindset. You have a military way of living. And you also have to understand that, you know, somebody really thought they could get away with what they did to you. But the ancestors, the 3D is way different than the 5D, guys. And when you're anointed and protected, you really don't have to worry about anything but your children, but yourself. And there's a war going on here, but you have a military mindset, so you're, you're ready for war. You were born in the dark, yo. You chose to be in the light. That makes you even more powerful than anybody. You don't need to whip up some stuff in the kitchen or send some dark energies or, you know, if, if somebody is in your life because of magic, they don't need you and you most definitely don't need them. So it's time for war. Strap up, be prayed up and be protected guys. Cause it's time to give and receive, okay? Remember, what you put out, you get back. It's time to be charitable. It's time to remember to put our best foot forward, to motivate those who are doing better, to encourage them. I just um, ordered a microphone, okay? So thank you guys for telling me that the volume is low. It's my laptop. I'm going to inevitably, eventually get a better laptop. But I did get a beautiful, beautiful microphone to go with you know, our readings. So thank you for the support you show me. Okay. I love you. It's about the generosity guys. What you give out, you get back. Okay. And fucking humanity is a bunch of animals. So we have to remind ourselves to be gentle. Okay. Treat people as you want to be treated. Respect people. Understand that everybody's got shit going on. And if you're not going to motivate them, Stay out of the fucking way because somebody is a, a real alchemist and they're fucking with the weather. <laughs> you know, the emotions are fucking with the weather. Earth disaster, yo. Somebody is having a drought and it's because of this fucking insanity that somebody is feeling. Somebody tried to make somebody feel delusional or look delusional or look like they're having a, a manic episode. And now the person who sent this to another person is going through it. Love you, babe. Look, and I opened it right back up to that same thing, okay? And it's only because somebody tried to ritually sacrifice somebody, okay? They kept doing this over and over and over. Every new moon, every full moon. And this is why the water disaster is there. So you got all the disasters that come out, guys, because somebody is really tapped into Gaia, to nature. And, um... Mother Nature is really cleaning itself out, okay, for you, because you're intelligent, you're intelligent, you've seen the bigger picture, so you put two and two together, that somebody was just trying to banish you because they internally felt banished, they could have a thousand people in front of them, they can have millions of dollars in the bank account, but they're empty inside, so they're inevitably going to feel some kind of way when somebody's light is very bright, but your light irritates a lot of people's demons. That's why they choose to go in the shadow to bring out some kind of energies to haunt you. But then they end up just being insane themselves. They end up going through some really, you know, tumultuous times and they end up ha going through a manic episode. And you are intelligent. So you've learned healthy coping mechanisms to deal with your imbalances because we're not perfect. I am most definitely not perfect. So... 
at the end of the day, it's just about being a truth seeker, finding solutions to the problem. So then this way, we're not replaying the same over and over and over. We're not, there's no victims, guys. It's about being intelligent, finding the truth, asking questions. If it doesn't make sense, make it make sense. If they're not, it's not making sense, it's because they don't want it to. It's because it's a lie. This is the astral experience, okay? You're going on a whole new experience. And you have the guides of the astral realm. You're out of this world, guys. And you have to be a, remember your accomplishments. You're, look, you're in this ring fighting. You're the champion. So say thank you to your ancestors, to your spirit guides, to your friends, your family, the people who are around you, who motivate you. Even if it doesn't work out, thank them for the opportunity and the time that they spend with you. Because this is all that matters, guys. Remember, it's about the fucking truth. So always stand in your power and always say, Miawagoa. Be grateful for everything. Be thankful for everything. Because at the end of the day, the doors will, you know, continuously keep opening. And this is why somebody is very much up in their head. Because they're jealous of your superpowers. Of your ability to continuously keep alchemizing the energies to turn it into a beautiful life for yourself. Even if it's you know rocks are being thrown at you you took those rocks and built an empire like for real yo you didn't shoot them back you gathered them up so cheers to that guys let's get some juice all right so you have the hidden truth wants to come out it says i will wait for a sign from you my life is not all together and it says i bury myself in work so somebody is really trying to get their life together so that they can come towards this empress for a job opportunity because the three of pentacles is there. Take it as it resonates, okay? But it's the air sign. So it could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But somebody is going through hell in this ascension with these bad friends or they're going through hell because of some kind of you know, broken twin flame energy. Now they're finding out about kids and they want to communicate how intuitively I'm feeling how they had gotten somebody pregnant and they found out it wasn't even their kid. And that's why they stayed with them because of this child. They found out it wasn't even theirs. So they got fucked all over the place. Like, yeah, this is why somebody needs to be strong because the information they're about to get is a hard pill to swallow. Okay. Okay. You need to take the lead, okay? It's all about healing. Somebody needs to heal. The only way somebody is going to heal is to communicate, to be honest with themselves so that they can really get back their strength to see truly how beautiful you are, to be able to overcome all the inner demons. Somebody clearly chose a bum over a boss, clearly. And this is why they're fucking going through it because you have the wheel of fortune in your favor. And it was all a choice. It was a lot of in and out. Somebody didn't want to do the hard work, so instead they got somebody who was easy. <laughs> and now they see that it's not fucking so easy. They should have put respect where respect was due. They should have respected you and took the lead. Instead, they took the lead towards a bum because they couldn't handle your female king status. Somebody acted on impulse and went towards a, a bum because... They, could do, they couldn't do the fucking healing. It is what it is, guys. Love conquers all, so forgive this motherfucker because now they're stuck being a looking motherfucking ass. You got this, okay? These people are watching. They're stalking, but your ancestors are watching and stalking them because you're a light worker. So forgive these people for what they do not know because they are, like I said, I say it and it comes out my hand. Yo, you got the tools to conquer these inner demons, to conquer these people, to... You know, these people send you things and they don't realize that you're the fucking bag, that you're the magician, that you look at these, you know, you're probably like me, you know, and you look at these lower vibrational entities and you, you're like, for real, like go back to where the fuck you came from kind of energy. Like they can't fuck with you. You're the real bag. You got the tools. And this is what somebody should have fucking understood and they should have respected you when they had the opportunity to. Instead, they did it and now they're waiting for a sign from you. And they're burying themselves in work until they fucking communicate. They're going to continuously keep going through hell 
Something about some kids, guys. They needed to respect the real bag. Somebody shouldn't have bit the hand that fed them. Now they're stuck with a fucking bum because of lust and sex. Yo, it is what it is. We are the company we keep, guys. Somebody wants to come in to give you a love offer, okay? I feel it's somebody new, and it's because you're empathic. And you're living the good life. You deserve somebody who's going to see you truly as who you are. Because somebody didn't and they missed out on you. And it is what it is. Energy never lies, guys. You can't hide from shit. You can't hide from the 5D. You can't hide from God, from source. You can't hide from the sun. You can't do it. The sun is there. You are joy. You are light. You are perspective. You are everything. And you are definitely protected. And the haters are going to fucking hate. They're going to hate because they're so used to cater my ego, stroke my ego, make me feel better. But then at the end of the day, everybody's just a bunch of watchers, stalkers, looking ass people because you're solo dolo and you don't need these people to fucking feed your cup because you are the empress. And that's why they're all a bunch of undercover brothers and sisters, y'all. Just a bunch of spies, just a bunch of people Play it in your face the whole time. They want to take your place. Didn't I say they want to fucking spin the block? These, But they're getting burnt by the fucking sun, by the truth. God creator, Sungwe, Gizu, and Ra is showing them who the fuck is home. Where the fuck home is. And somebody's done with these entities, with these energies with these people somebody is not single and they got fucking sexually transmitted demons or diseases from this fucking bum yo somebody this is why you broke up with them this is why you said no you're an empress you fucking know your value you know your worth and you know that these people are dirty as soon as you found out who it was you were like nah nah never again don't fucking touch me because that's dirty you know people and that's dirty and you said bye peace say less peace <laughs> it's fucking awesome and the truth is coming out now they're stuck being stalkers and they're clearly not single and they want to fucking come home like they want to find home they're lost okay and these haters are gonna fucking hate because you are the bag you're the sun you're protected and you're doing it all by yourself they got a lot of fucking self-hate for themselves because clearly they can't fucking be trusted yo they're going through hell because somebody's fucking badass friends, fake ass friends, told them to fucking ditch a twin flame energy. Ooh, wow. It's all because they're haters, guys. Somebody would took the lead and they took the lead right into a fucking ditch with a bum. That's their problem. This is life is not all together as it seems. No shit. <laughs> and they're waiting for a sign from you, but you ain't fucking chasing shit. You attract in a whole new fucking life. And somebody's burying themselves in work because, yo, seriously, like, they are obsessed, obsessed with this empress. They continuously keep looking for you everywhere. And it's this emperor. There is no healing here. None whatsoever. And it's because of this darker energy. Is this king of wands, okay, is really trying to manifest you. To have a higher level commitment with them. But they're being blocked with the eight of wands. Because source set knows about this queen of pentacles. This queen of coins in the energy. Okay. Around them. Some kind of mother figure. Baby mama. Somebody who's trying to take them for all they have. Whatever this is. They could be in another relationship. A marriage. And it's causing them to, you know. Like I said. They chose a bum over a boss. Right? That's why they're juggling. It's because of the darker energies. These two people probably did this dark magic manipulation, whatever this is, under the influence together. <laughs> and this is why there is no coming back. This is why the star is in reverse and there is no coming back. <sighs> Somebody took the lead and uh, that, you know, you gave them enough rope to hang themselves and they literally hung themselves and their uh, everybody else around them like seriously some way this is spinning the block god is spinning the block and putting their throat on everybody that's called karmic justice and a lot of people are being triggered by this conflict by the inability to take responsibility look like i said these two people 
are really in a lot of disharmony because you're speaking up, speaking loud, speaking proud, and you don't give a fuck because you're healing your inner child. And the truth always prevails. It always, you know, <laughs> resonates the highest, guys. And this masculine is really clinging to the past. He's stuck in the south node. And instead of having ownership and apologizing for his nastiness, he went into something that was clearly stroked his ego, but didn't understand that it was going to really, really put him in a fucking situation he was going to really regret. Whether this is a female or a male, take it as it resonates, guys. But this emperor in reverse, this masculine, is really clinging to the past and has to start healing their inner child or else they're going to continuously keep being triggered by your evolution. It's time for karma, guys. Like I said, this is balancing out the scales. It's karmic justice that's happening for the injustice and the judgment in reverse, okay? Yeah, because somebody is stuck to a death do you part. Somebody got married or is in a full-blown commitment or had children or something. And they can't get out of it. Somebody signed a contract and it's hard to get out of it. Take it as it resonates. This is why I'm completely independent. And this is why a lot of people are hating on me because, uh-uh, no. What I say goes. I am the real empress. It's time to surrender and release, guys. It's time to purge out this energy of this contract. Somebody needs to say the fuck with you and get the fuck out of there. Summer is all about growth. So somebody may be doing this, okay, in the summertime. I have another card on my floor. It's 10-10, okay? You have this divine timing. It's divine timing that somebody grows the fuck up, starts a new chapter, changes their lives, and make a wish for the best and greater good of all. They need to get out of this fucking shadow people and really go towards the sun, the light. Like, fuck. Seriously? It's time for a rebirth. I don't make it up, guys. The winter was all about rebirth. It was time to replenish. Now everybody is in that cocoon. We're trying to break free and become something beautiful. Hopefully these motherfuckers don't turn into moths, you know? But we want butterflies, guys. We want butterflies. But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter if you're a fucking moth. You're still valuable. You're still beautiful. And we still need you. There is no fucking competition. So, at the end of the day... Be beautiful. Be a different kind of creature. Be who you are. It's about growth and rebirth. And the last one is you're fucking super attractive, guys. Like I said, that's why. The Empress attracts everything. They don't chase shit. They attract. An Emperor goes after what they want. But an Emperor in reverse is a bitch. You know, they want everybody to come after them. To give them. Like, this is no. And this is why they're in competition with you as, a, uh, as the Empress. Because... They themselves are not. Something happened in autumn and they seen you harvesting something and they got very fucking insecure. And somebody's traveling towards you to communicate with you. If it's a new person, be open. If it's an old person, be open. But there's a lot of projections. You are that mirror, guys. You are the Hoyoki impasse. So make light of the situation. Learn from the situation. Everything is a fucking projection. So don't take nothing too personally, all right? Because somebody is feeling a lot of guilt for sabotaging the situation with this empress. Because they know <laughs> that it was all about control. Like I said, the emperor in reverse has control issues. It was all a tactic, and it, they couldn't do it. And now they're in fear because of this limitation. They feel like they're being haunted by the shadow people that they tried to send to you. Because of this avoidance, this stalemate, they really did not want to take accountability for their actions. And now they have no motherfucking choice. That's divine timing. They're feeling very guilty. Very guilty for what they did. So... Listen to them, okay? We all go through some shit. It's time to receive, to be open, okay? Apologize. Make amends. We're not perfect. We clearly did something as well. But it's time to form structure. Have some kind of solid foundation to stand on. It's time to reflect instead of doing all this fucking projecting. It's time to tap in, to do the shadow work. Somebody's having a dark night of the soul, and this is really painful. And 
they probably don't have a lot of people around them because when you went to the dark night of the soul, you had nobody. So keep that in consideration. This is not fun. You want the best for people. 39, 39 on my clock. So encourage them. Motivate them. You can love people from afar, guys. Just fucking be careful of your energy because somebody is feeling very guilty of what they did. And they're having a transcendence, unity, twin flame energy. They feel guilty for fucking up this union and uh, they want to integrate in integrate this but they're feeling very detached and cold like i said the energy the weather right they're alchemists and they're alchemizing with the weather so whatever they're feeling internally is coming out in the weather they gotta fucking be careful okay so let's get the archangels and see what's going on okay sir guys show me archangels i want to know what's going on do you have their back What's going on? The page of Raphael's. Somebody wants to come in with the page of cups. It came out a while ago. Okay. New, a new emotional situation. Message regarding relationships or social invitations. A great intuitive insight. Okay. Somebody sees you as a muse and it's eight of Gabriel's. They want to send a fast moving message to you or you're getting a download about this. The ancestors are really fucking protecting you and they're really sending a message to really heal something. This is a great deal of activity. Sudden and immediate results, important communication. So listen, like I said, be, be empathetic, okay? We do not have to take people back, but it's just about finding peace, guys. We want peace. 13 reduced down to 4. We want stability. This is it. We want people to be happy. So let them vent. Let them, you know, be themselves. Let them heal in whatever which way that is, as long as they're not hurting themselves or others in the process. It says release the past. There is no more enriching future. There is a more enriching future coming. Let go and let God. Okay, guys? I love you. And look, it says divine guidance. I cut the deck one more time. Five. It's all about change, guys. You got divine guidance there. Archangel... Sandra, Sandra Finn, okay? The search for meaning in life. Consider an alter, alternate, alternative approach. Surround yourself with wise teachers and friends, okay? It's just time to change up your environment. Clearly, the environment is not beneficial to you. It's not feeding your soul's growth. It's not giving you what you need to evolve, guys, okay? So let's get a message. See, the weight of the world. Somebody feels like the weight of the world is on their shoulders. They need to let go of this guilt. Put up the boundaries. Let go. It's not yours to carry is what it's saying. At the heart of the deck, it says breath of the cosmos. Okay? My will is thy will. Micromanaging the universe. Exactly. Somebody is a fucking alchemist and they're micromanaging the universe in a bad way and they're fucking up the weather. Somebody needs to chill the fuck out and bring back out the sun, man. <laughs> Love you guys let's get um elders ruins okay somebody's heart is froze okay so you need pleasure and joy like i said yo somebody needs to have a little pleasure and joy in their life somebody needs to go and apologize bring some sun back in their motherfucking life because somebody's a gift ancestor spirit guide said it somebody's a gift guys and somebody's feeling the weight of the world because they don't have their blessing in their life anymore and it says, harvest, gain, and growth. You are harvest, you are gain, you are growth. You are the empress. Everything you touch turns to gold. You're beautiful. You take care of yourself. Your house is clean. You smell good. You look good. Your children love you. Your children are clean. This is what it's about, guys. And you have the torch, fire, and light. You are fucking lighting up a lot of people's dark tunnels. And somebody needs to fucking put respect where respect is due. Okay? So lower your volume for a moment. Bless you, Beth. Lower your volume. I'm going to take some of these charms, okay, to elaborate on our reading and see what else Spirit has to say for us, okay? Oh, so we have we have a bunch, okay? So we have a bunch. So hold on tight because the Empress is coming out. You are the king or queen, okay? And somebody sees you as a token, okay? As a token, as a trophy, as a, you know, a gift. But you're a butterfly. And like I said, during that cocoon phase, you're coming out. It's all about growth, guys. And you're super attractive in this rebirth. Everybody sees you're having a rebirth. And there's another butterfly here. So you might have another person who is transforming as well, okay? Because of this sun. 
This ability to see just how bright you are internally. Love on yourself. See the light inside of yourself. So that this way you can travel the world. You can see the higher good for all. It's about really evolving and leveling up. There's no competition. Look, you have another little butterfly. So that's three little butterflies you have here. And then you have an owl. So you're very wise, okay? You're very wise. So use that intelligence to benefit you and the people around you. I love you, babe. Yeah, when I tell my dad that he works, so I can go to him at Christmas. Oh, I love you. We have a shell here, okay? So somebody, like Jacoby said, may want to go on a trip. Maybe want to go to the beach, okay? So you have the shell there. And then you have the Hanahan, okay? And you have the Eye of Horus in the middle. So you're definitely protected. The source, Sungwai Dizu, God creator, is watching over you. And then you have the um, crescent moon, okay? So you're a witch. You were born a witch. So don't, you know, shun your light. You're a good witch. You're a light witch. You're a green witch. And then you have the whale's fin here. So the whale's fin to me, it represents like going with the motion, going with the flow, really understanding that through everything you can really, you know, you can stay afloat because you have the hand here. Again, you have extra protection from the deities and you have another shell here and this shell is the cock shell, okay? So when you listen, you put it up to your ear, you know, you can hear the ocean. So the ocean is calling you. The ocean is wanting you to come together. Now you have a V here. So you're definitely getting a victory. So it's time for you to replenish yourself. Have maybe a spiritual bath, okay? Because you have the rose. So you are the rose that grows through concrete. So remember that no matter what you look like, no matter where you are, you are a fucking prize. You are a token and you are beautiful. You are the rose that grew through concrete. Listen to Tupac's poem, okay? And look, you have an anchor, okay? So somebody might want to anchor your energy or the fact that you're anchored, you're grounded. And look, you have the four-leaf clover, so you're very protected, okay? You could be um, Irish, take it as it resonates, but you have the world, the Saturn, okay? You are a galactic creature, and it's time for you to see just how beautiful you are. Somebody may want to put a ring on it, guys. Take it as it resonates, but you have this leaf here, and it's time to look at how beautiful nature is. It's time to worship nature. It's time to go inwards and really see that you are a witch. It's the cat with the witch broom. You are a witch, but you're a good witch. You're a nature witch. You're a natural witch, and you want the best for people. And then you have, where the hell did it go? You have another little tiny shell, okay? So it's time for you to really start collecting nature, okay? So if you see a rock and it talks to you, collect it. But also ask for the, the nature if you could take it, you know, because everything in nature has a place. So if you're taking the rock from the home, you have to ask for its permission, okay? Because look, you are... The, you have this seed, this tree of life. You are grounded. You are in nature. You are protected. Every day you walk on this planet, it is a blessing. It's a purpose. You're here. It's um, You're in ceremony everywhere you go. This is why you stay so beautiful and so loving and so, you know, authentic. And you have the last one which is the eye of Horus, the evil eye protection. You are very protected. And that's with diamonds, and it's the only one that I have in there. It's just happened to be like a um, a loose thing that I had, and I don't, I'm not going to use it, you know. But you have the eye of Horus here, and it just so happened came out. So you're very protected, guys, and you're very wealthy, very worthy of everything you have, but you have to see how valuable and worthy you truly are, okay? It says go with the flow. Yeah, it's time to go with the flow, okay? Let go. Cleanse everything and anything that doesn't align with you and be willing to receive everything that is, okay? Spirit guide, show me the last closing message. Thank you. Okay, so we have number 27. So somebody could be wearing a mask, okay? Number 27. Now, number 27 reduced down to a 9. 
So it's about ending something, okay? There's something needs to be completed. The faceless company. In, uh, insecurity, acceptance, and confidence. The important thing now is to accept yourself for who you are. There is no need to hide behind a mask of uncertainty or insecurity. On the surface, you may well appear to be happy-go-lucky, but you doubt your abilities. Those who choose to share your life with you, whether it's friends or lovers, they love you for who you are. It is only you who feels you have to adapt to different personalities to fit in to be accepted. Never do that. Be your authentic self. If people don't like it, too fucking bad for them. It's because they want you to be part of their ulterior motives. No, be yourself. Have confidence in yourself and be who you want to be. And if someone don't like it, then there is no room in your life for them. Within you, there is a gentle soul waiting to be loved and accepted. Be who you were born to be. You have nothing to hide. If you are not in a relationship at this time, there is an admirer waiting in the wings. Let your light shine and they will find you. Be authentic, guys. Remember, the Empress attracts. Be the light and someone will find you. I love you. I hope this resonated. I hope it helped you. If you want a more personal reading, I'll put all my information at the bottom, okay? Let's get one overall energy. Wow. Okay, so clearly the injustice card wants to come out. There's clearly some kind of injustice that somebody's feeling. And it's because they sabotage. Look, they sabotage the Empress in the upright. I don't make it up. They sabotage the Empress in the upright. And now there's a major tower for whatever situation they're going through because the sun is out. There's no joy. There's no sun. There's no perspective. That's why the star is in reverse. There's no healing for somebody. Somebody needs to go inwards. Go into hibernation mode. They can do this. They can fucking get the light. But you have to do the self-reflecting. You have to do the complete, uh, contemplation. The solitude. And find that inner guidance to do the soul searching. It is what it is, guys. It's time to tap in and get that dark night of the soul over with. Because there's, like I said, too much fucking injustice. And Spirit said, the fuck you will. You're not going to fucking do this to my prize, to my queen, to my empress, to my light, to my joy, to one who I gifted this power to. You're not going to make them look stupid. You're not going to degrade them. You're not going to isolate them. No. Why? Because her will, your will, is thy will. You micromanage the universe. Now it's time to bring in beautiful blessings that are going to feed this, empower this, help you out, not only to help them, but to help the beautiful collective, the higher power, the higher source, and, you know, the collective energy to really evolve the next generation. So we do, don't have to stay trapped, saying yes when we want to say no. We stand up in our power, we take very good care of ourselves, and we love on those. And we also accept people for who they are, because clearly somebody just wearing a motherfucking mask, and they don't want to do it no more. So give them space to fucking clean up their lives, and show you that they have. I love you, stay blessed, I hope this resonated. Peace!